Welcome back everyone to our Python class. In our last session we used some, the built-in functions to do some mirror writing and in this session we're going to use the built-in ORD and char functions to and the split met function for strings in order to do a basic um, encipherment. Now um, when we're actually enciphering a message we're starting with our plain text, then um, we're using a specific cipher. In this case, I'm going to call it the ORD cipher. The ORD is a method that changes a string into its um, ASCII code number um, in Python. And so we'll create a loop that'll walk through each letter in the string and turn it into a number. And that'll be a basic substitution cipher. And this is the process of encryption. Um, which use, encryption uses an algorithm or a step-by-step -step process to turn a um, message into something that is unrecognizable. And this was a later form of steganography or what we know today as um, cryptology. Then once we have it encrypted we have what is called our ciphertext. This is our hidden message. And then we'll go and um, create a method that decrypts our message also so we can get back to our original message. And after we decrypt something, if we can easily read it, we call it clear text. So let's go ahead and get started with these types of functions. All right, so we'll create a new window. And I'm just going to take a second to adjust the size of my window so it fills my recording screen. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a comment in it for the name of our files. So we're going to call this our Python or D cipher dot py. And I'm going to go ahead and put my name in. And the date that I completed this, which was on January 3rd. So January 3, 2016. Okay, so we'll start off again by getting the plain text message from the user. And if you want to copy that method in from your um, mirror writing function program, you can. But I'll rewrite it here for everyone. So we're going to say def get plain text. And then we'll get the message to encode. So we'll say plain text is equal to input. And we'll give the user a prompt. Please enter message. to encode. And then we'll, we'll return the plain text. And then we'll need to create our main method, so def main. And then we'll need to call the get plain text method. So we'll say plain text is equal to get plain text. And then so our first step will be to get the message from the user. you want to encrypt the message from the user, so we'll write that method. So I'll go up here and we'll create another function called def encrypt and we'll call it ORD just like we called the last one mirror. We'll name our function after 
the actual type of encryption it does. And we'll need to pass in our plain text message. So we'll pass in the variable plain text that holds our message. And then we'll need to create a loop that walks through the plain text. So for each character in plain text. So this is um, a for each loop. And a for each loop uses some type of data structure like a string or an array. And it goes through every character in the string. So it takes one character out of the string and puts it in the variable ch. And then for each of the ch variables, we want to um, encrypt it. So we'll say, and then add it to our um, plain text message. So we'll say um, ORD ch. And um, we'll actually add a space to it so that there's a space between each um, number. And then we want to add that to our clean text, clear to our ciphertext. So we will need to create a blank ciphertext variable. So we'll say ciphertext is equal to a blank. And then we'll need to add it to our ciphertext each time through the loop. So when, instead of just equals, we want to do plus equals because you remember that plus equals is the same thing as ciphertext is equal to ciphertext plus ORD. And actually what we can do, I believe, is we can use end is equal to, we'll try that. And then let's go ahead and print our ciphertext each time through the loop so we can test it. All right, so then what we wanna do in order to test this, we need to call it. So we'll call um, encrypt ORD and we'll pass in our plain text. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. And we'll go to the same folder that we saved our mirror writing in before. You could create another folder if you like. So I'm going to go down to my middle school Python class. And I'm going to create a new folder that says or Python or D cipher. Go in there and then call this Python ORD cipher.py. Once we save it, then we can run it to test it. Oh, and we have a syntax error. So it doesn't like end is equal to a blank. Let's try adding parentheses around it and see if that will help. Because I really want to space after each ORD. Okay, so then let's just try comma space. And again, like last time, we forgot to call our main. We ended up with a blank, so we'll go down here and say main. And we'll try running it again. And we'll end our doom message this time. Meet me at noon on the playground. Okay, so it thinks that we're trying, we've got a tuple, which is a list of two things because we use the comma. So let's try using a plus sign instead of the comma and see if that will add a space each time. And we'll try entering our message again. And 
now it's trying, oh, it's trying to concatenate an int and a string. So we need to convert that to a string. So we can do str. And there we can see it's turning each letter into a number. So that part of our cipher is working. So once we have that working, we can comment out our test print. And then we can just, when it's done in ciphering, we can return our ciphertext. And then we need to say down here in our main, we'll say ciphertext is equal to our encrypted ORD method. And then we'll print our ciphertext. All right, so let's run it. Let's see if we are able to encrypt our message. I'll just use a shorter message this time. Meet me by the Ferris wheel. And there we go. And okay, so that's good. We can encipher the message. So now what we want to do is write a method to decipher the message. So we're going to go def decrypt ORD. And we want to pass in our ciphertext this time. And then we'll create a variable so we want to, well, let's use a loop for, and we'll say for each number in our string, which is, and we'll, we'll use the variable as numstr in, and our string is in our variable ciphertext. And then in order to split those numbers up, we're going to use the function split. So we'll say ciphertext.split. And that will put each number into our variable numbers called numString. And then what we want to do is to turn that numString back into a variable. So we'll say eval. Remember that's the function that we used in input in order to get a number. So we'll say eval numstr. And then we'll dump that into a variable called code num. And then what we want to do with the code num is we want to um, change it into a character. So we'll use the chr function and pass in our variable code num. And we'll set it equal to, and each time through the loop, then we want to add it to our clear text string. So we'll have to create a blank string called clear text. So we'll say clear text is equal to blank string and then here we're going to say clear text plus equals chr code num okay and then each time through the decryption let's go ahead and add a test print so we'll print code num to make sure we're getting a number and then each time through our loop, as we add it to our clear text string, we'll print clear text so we can watch that string develop and make sure it's going right. All right, and then so down here, after we print the cipher text, we need to call decrypt ORD function that we just wrote, and we need to remember to pass in our cipher text, which holds all of our numbers. All right, so let's go ahead and run this to see if we have any errors. I'll just do a short uh, message, meet me at noon. Okay, so you can see that here we've got our encryption working, and then it's taking and printing the code number and turning it back into 
a letter, then the next time through it takes the next number, which is 101, turns it back into a letter, and concatenates the te that letter to our clear text. It goes into the next number, which is also 101, which is an E, adds it to the clear text. And the time we go through every letter in the string, we are back to our original message. And so our decryption method is working. So we'll go in here then, and we want to, at the end of our decryption method, we want to return our clear text. So that's available anytime we want to use it. And then down here, we're going to say clear text is equal to decrypt ORD, and then we'll print our clear text. And then, of course, before you turn it in, you should put any comments in so that the user of the program can understand what you're doing. So this is the method to decrypt the message. We'll say the in the enciphered message. Okay. And then you should go up to your functions and make sure that you have um, sufficient uh, comments in. So what we're doing here is we are taking the character. So it takes each character and turns it, it into a number. and then take each number and turn it into a string, which is the str part. And this is the ORD ch part. And then add each string Character C H A C character to our ciphertext variable. And then down here in the decryption, well, let's add another line up here. This takes each takes, T-A-K-E-S, takes each letter or character uh, of our plain text string. Okay, and then down here, create a string variable so we split each number out of our ciphertext string and then put each number into our num str variable and then we turn turn each um, number in our or let's just use value turn each value in our num str variable into a number and then we're going to add well, take that number number 
in the code num variable. and turn it into a character using the chr function. Okay, and then we can also comment out our print test prints so that we don't get extra printing. So let's go ahead and run it once more before we save it. And we'll say meet at noon. And there you can see that we're getting our encryption and our decryption working fine. And that's the end of this um, session on learning how to make a basic cipher and using various functions, creating various functions to get message from the user, encrypt a message, de decrypt a message. See you next time.